this was never supposed to happen. For years, the auto industry told us the future was inevitable. The electric revolution was unstoppable. Tesla charging ahead. BYD flooding the streets. Governments betting trillions on a single path forward. The gasoline engine? Finished. Dead. Buried. Forgotten. We were told there was no coming back. The world's biggest automakers were shutting down their petrol engine divisions. Battery plants were springing up everywhere. Laws were rewritten to make sure we all ended up in EVs. But while the rest of the industry raced down one road, Toyota was taking a different route. In the shadows, they were planning something no one saw coming. A revenge move. A masterstroke 20 years in the making. And now, that move has arrived. It's called the Dynamic Force Engine, and it's unlike anything else in the industry today. This is not a minor upgrade. It's a complete rethinking of the combustion engine from the ground up. Over 40% thermal efficiency, a number experts swore was impossible for a mass-produced engine. A design so adaptable it can run on petrol, ethanol, or hydrogen without major changes. A platform so versatile it can power everything from a small hatchback to a seven-seat SUV, all without a costly redesign. And Toyota can build it in factories today. Not next year. Not in five years. No. That means no waiting for charging stations. No rare earth mineral shortages. No dependency on fragile battery supply chains that can be broken by politics or disasters. Just raw, future-proof performance wrapped in Toyota's reputation for reliability. To understand why this is such a shock to the industry, you need to see the world through Toyota's eyes. The EV dream works in certain countries, places like Norway, California, or Shanghai, where charging stations are everywhere, the grid is strong, and subsidies keep prices down. But in the real world? There are vast regions, India, Africa, Southeast Asia, the Middle East, where EVs are still a fantasy. Places where charging stations are rare, electricity is unstable, and transporting giant battery packs is a logistical nightmare. In those markets, going EV only isn't visionary. It's suicide. Toyota saw this years ago. While rivals bet their futures on lithium-ion, Toyota doubled down on what it calls a multi-pathway strategy, mastering EVs, hybrids, plug-in hybrids, and hydrogen. Not out of stubbornness. Out of cold, calculated realism. At the heart of this plan is the dynamic force engine. It's not a leftover from the petrol age. It's a mechanical revolution. Toyota rebuilt the internal combustion engine to be cleaner, more efficient, and ready for the fuels of the future. The engineering is radical. Longer piston strokes and smaller bores for more complete fuel combustion. A compression ratio of 13 to 1, an aggressive number normally reserved for sports cars, tuned here for everyday driving. An intelligent variable cooling system that fine-tunes temperature in real time. Multi-hole direct fuel injection that atomizes fuel into an ultra-fine mist for a cleaner, more complete burn. These changes add up to more than just numbers on paper. They deliver real-world power, lower emissions, and a throttle response that makes even a hybrid feel alive under your foot. But this engine isn't just about performance. It's about adaptability. Toyota's TNGA, Toyota New Global Architecture, turns the dynamic force engine into a shapeshifter. It can slot into a nimble hatchback one day and a full-size SUV the next. It can switch from petrol today to ethanol tomorrow to hydrogen the day after, without a complete redesign. 
and because Toyota's factories already exist all over the globe, it can be built locally using region-specific components. That means lower costs, faster rollouts, and independence from fragile supply chains. While EV-only manufacturers wait on battery shipments from halfway around the world, Toyota can start production anywhere, anytime. This engine has been battle-tested in some of the harshest environments on Earth. Scorching deserts in the Middle East. High-altitude roads in the Andes. Frozen winters in Hokkaido, Japan. Each test exposed weaknesses, and each weakness was eliminated. Toyota filed over 300 patents during development. Everything from the millisecond timing of a valve opening, to the microscopic curvature of a piston crown, to the precise angle of fuel spray for perfect combustion. This wasn't trial and error. This was chess. A 20-year plan executed piece by piece, with every move preparing for today. On paper, EVs still look unbeatable. Zero tailpipe emissions. Cheap per mile energy costs. Whisper quiet acceleration. But in reality? Charging can take hours without ultra-fast stations. Public chargers are often busy or broken. And in extreme cold or heat, battery range can drop by up to 40%. Toyota's hybrid approach bypasses all of that. In city traffic, the car runs almost entirely on electric power stored in its small onboard battery. On the highway, the petrol engine takes over, charging the battery as you drive. No waiting for a charging bay. No range anxiety on a freezing morning. No worrying if the next town even has a charger. And here's what has rival automakers really worried, this is just Toyota's opening move. Insiders whisper about a new project, the Triple Power Hybrid. A single vehicle that combines three propulsion systems. Solid-state batteries for pure electric range. The dynamic force engine for petrol or ethanol and direct hydrogen combustion for zero-carbon ice driving. That would mean one car that can run in any fuel ecosystem on Earth. From Norway's hydrogen stations, to rural Africa's ethanol pumps, to America's interstate gas stations. Toyota's solid-state battery research suggests ranges of 1,000 kilometers on a single charge, with recharge times as short as 10 minutes that's faster than filling a petrol tank. Now imagine pairing that with the dynamic force engine in a hybrid configuration. In daily city driving, you'd use the battery for hundreds of kilometers. On long trips, the engine takes over seamlessly. No range limits. No downtime. This strategy is pure hedging genius. If the future belongs to EVs, Toyota is ready. If hydrogen takes over, Toyota is ready. If petrol and ethanol remain king in emerging markets, Toyota is ready. While other automakers have gone all in on one future, Toyota is playing every future at once. And here's the danger for Tesla, BYD, and every EV exclusive brand. If Toyota can roll out this technology globally before they adapt, they risk losing entire markets permanently. The dynamic force engine gives Toyota something no battery-only automaker can match, instant scalability across all fuels, all climates, all economies. For years, the EV narrative painted Toyota as slow, even outdated. But today, that slowness looks like strategic patience. While others were sprinting down one path, Toyota was quietly paving all of them. Now, they're not just part of the race, they're moving the finish line. The next era of the automobile might not belong to the brands we thought. It might belong to the company that refused to kneel at the altar of lithium-ion. The company that built an engine for every road, every fuel, every future. 
and that company is Toyota.